All right, welcome back to another vlog. We are outside Gordon McCauley's new uh, GMC cycling store in Silverdale. This is the first day this has been open. I think he's been working on moving for like the last week and a half, two weeks. He's done a completely new fit out in the store. This is a brand new store. Nothing was in it when he started and it is looking absolutely amazing. So this is what you're working on yesterday? Yeah, this is uh, Scott Genius, uh, full suspension mountain bike. Uh, it's come up from Rotorua, um, and we've done it in, I guess, the, the most people know it as Chameleon. Yeah, Chameleon, um, the colour shift, basically. Yeah, colour eh? shift paint. Um, that looks awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty trippy. You know, get it out in the sun, bit of blue to red. We've got a little bit of finishing work to do on it. We've got to... Um, uh, what we what we call colour sands um, to get the clear coat nice and smooth and shiny. Um, we've still got to do a little bit of that, but um, other than that, yeah, it's um, yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, it's coming really nice. The colour shifts really nicely from um, blue to red. I start on one side and I sort of work my way around each of the tubes to make sure that each one's done or each one's prepped, um, prepped in the way that I need it prepped for me to then go in and, and either prime or paint and that way nothing's missed. Um, it, it's, it needs to be methodical, it, it's, it's kind of like a robotic process and it's the same when I go in and paint, I've got a robotic process in the, in the way that I start and I go through and each one's done exactly the same so that I know when it comes through nothing's missed. So um, yeah, so we, we, we do a bit of a process through and, uh, and then we know it's done. How are we getting along? Good, so this is all sanded down. Well, sanded down, sand, sanded back, sanded ready for, for the sealer primer. Yep. Um, because this was in such good condition, um, we didn't have to sand it all the way back to the raw carbon, and sanding it back to raw carbon is a slightly different process to what we've done anyway, Yeah. which is a little bit more time consuming. And as we all know, time equals money. Um, and because we don't have to send it all the way back to raw carbon, so we can we can do a process where we sand it so that the sealer primer bonds to the surface that we've got, um, and then we can then paint on top of that primer surface. So where are we up to now? So we've put the sealer primer on 
and this stuff takes about 20 minutes to um, to flash off so that we can uh, so that we can touch it um, we can we can still paint on it and the paint will still bond to it um, if we wanted to um, we could mask it off for various things but because it's primer we're going to just paint straight over the top and once we've got the paint on then we'll be able to mask off designs and that sort of stuff but it's, it's a good product that allows us to basically speed up the process um, and get straight into it. No sanding required at this stage because um, it's still uh, still workable in that the paint will um, form a bond with it and, uh, and stick to it so um, yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to put some black uh, on the down tube for where we're going to put the Cannondale logos and we're going to stencil those off and then once we've got that all flash dry and stuck on um, we're going to paint uh, it white we're going to mask off the design, paint the red uh, put a couple of decals on and clear coat it Putting on first. Uh, we're going to put on the Cannondale. Oh yeah. The Cannondale uh, logo because that's the first one that we're stenciling off in black, and the only other one we've got to stencil off is the Cycling Tom one, which we're going to do in red. Yep. So that's been done as a, a box stencil as opposed to a letter stencil because um, we're adding that on top whereas we're going to back mask that one so the letter stencils go on first. Yeah man. Yeah. Right, the build is going well. We're just about to start the white paint, so the white's going to be on most of the bike, but we are going to put the white on the forks as well, all the way through here, and then once this is set, we're going to put the two red stripes on there. As you can see, we've put the Cannondale logo on there. So yeah, the Cannondale logo is going to be black, most of the middle is going to be white, and then we're going to get the red on there later. The most important bit. Yeah. The work out if there's any gaps. Yeah, we just want to look and make sure that there's no little gaps um, in the masking so that when we put the red down, we don't have any little spots of red getting through, which can be a little bit annoying. I mean, not unfixable, but it's just, it's more work, you know. We'll do the work now so we don't have to do it at the end. It's usually around, around here in these tight spots, which is where you usually get your gaps and stuff. So we're just making sure it's all tied down. Be dry. Right. Far out there, so bright. Mm, nice red such out. a nice red. Yeah. So that'll contrast really nicely against the white. You can get those uh, decals on there. Yeah, that's we'll awesome. Woohoo! Yeah. 
Cool. All right, that's good. It is good. Very satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Basically done for the day, everything's on. The only thing that we've got to do now is clear coat it, and then tomorrow we're going to put on the shell logo and the UCI badge. The shell logo basically is going to go right there, obviously, above the shell wording, and then the UCI just kind of slips in there right under the, right under the top tube. So yeah, it's basically us for the day. I think it's turned out absolutely amazing. What do you reckon, Matt? Yeah, it's, um, this is why you pay me the big bucks. <laughs> the big, big bucks. <laughs> No, I like it. It's um, yeah, the, the, the theme bikes and and, uh, and and the ones that sort of you know you're trying to sort of match up to someone's story. Um, they're definitely my favourite ones to do. So this is this is um, this is up in my top ten. No, it's looking well, awesome. Top 10. Oh, all right. That was an absolutely massive day of custom paint jobs. Um, I think Matt absolutely destroyed that. I think he absolutely knocked it out of the park. So a massive, massive shout out to Frameworks. If you were even slightly interested in getting a custom paint job, I highly recommend Matt. I'll put all of his links down below. I know of a lot of people and some of you guys out there might be like, I really like what Tom's doing with the custom paint jobs. I want to do it on my bike, but I just don't know what to do. It's as easy as just flicking Matt a message. He's really, really creative. He can help find ideas for you. He'll send you a few ideas. You can kind of come back and forth and then eventually you will find something that you like. Flick him your frame, he'll get it done within a week or two and then send it back. It is an awesome experience and there's nothing better than standing out in the peloton. But yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you did like the frame, if you think it's awesome and you're excited for the build video next, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But if you haven't subscribed and you want to join this series, hit that subscribe button down below. We're on our way to 16,000 subscribers and like this video if you haven't already.